in this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install Mistral 7 billion model easily and quickly in AWS. You can use the same guide to install Mistral 7 billion parameter model on any Linux instance or even in the Windows instance. If you're not aware of what exactly is Mistral, then Mistral is a large language model which is pre-trained generative text model with 7 billion parameters. Mistral 7B version 01 outperforms Llama 2 13 billion on all the benchmarks. Mistral 7 billion parameter is a transformer model which has following architecture choices including grouped query attention, sliding window attention and byte fallback PPE tokenizer. Now Mistral 7B is a pre-trained base model and it doesn't have any moderation mechanism so but you can fine-tune it easily. The Mistral AI team is also really cool and you can learn more about them on this website which I will drop the link in video's description and they have also given a very quick summary which I just described for you and you can read further about it and this is a bit more detail around the benchmark which I just described. Okay, now for this demo, I'm going to use Hugging Face um, GPTQ version from the Bloop. So thanks to Bloop for producing this GPTQ version. And there is a bit more information about the models available from the Mistral family from Mistral.ai on the Hugging Face. For this demo, I'm going to use AWS SageMaker Notebook instance and I'll be using G4DN 4x large. But you can use any similar instance on any cloud provider. Now, at least you would need around 24 gigabyte of memory in terms of GPU if you want to run this model properly. And I believe I already have around 32 gig of memory. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites. So let me install them. First one is optimum, and then I have this transformer. Let's run it. Should it take too long to finish? Both of them are done now. In the next step, I'm going to clone the GPT cube and then go from there. So let me clone this one, git clone. I need to put exclamation mark in front of it. Okay, that's done. We need to do this GPTQ directory. And then we need to check out the stable version and then run it. Mission mark. I keep forgetting that. That's done. And now let's install it. And put the mission mark in front of it. And this takes around two minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. Auto GPTQ is done. In the next step, let's import some of the libraries and specify our. Mistral 7 billion GPTQ model. Let's run it. And that should be fairly quick. Shouldn't take too long in my opinion. That's done. Now in this step, we are going to download this model and then initialize the token. So let's run it. And this should take a bit time, bit of a time because of it will be downloading the ten sets of the model, which I believe around four to five gig. Let me check. If you go to Bloke's website, go to files and versions. Yeah, so that is the ten sets around four point sixteen GB. It depends upon your bandwidth and other stuff. How long would it take? You can see that it is downloading it, which is fairly quick, thankfully.
sensors are downloaded. Now it will be initializing the rook tokenizer. So model has been downloaded, tokenizer is initialized. Now let's run some of the prompts. So this is the prompting template which it requires where I'm asking it, what is the capital of Australia? And let me put the question mark here. And then this is a prompt template. And then we are piping it into the tokenizer and then generating the response. So let me run it. You can ignore this warning for now. And remember that this is a base model. Let's wait for it to come back. After thinking for about one minute, it has come up with the answer. And the answer is quite interesting. Um, you can see the first line says that if you answer Canberra, you would be wrong. The capital of Australia, I think this is just some sort of hallucination. This answer is correct. And then it goes on and on about the various cities of Australia uh, and then some more documents. And as I said, it's a base model, so which is fine. Now, let me ask it a coding question. Write a Python program to add two numbers. Let's see what it does this time. It has produced fairly decent answer, as you can see, with the Python program summing it up, and also it has gone ahead and gave us another program with adding three numbers, subtracting two number, and then it goes on and on. And you can control this output or from these uh, hyperparameters where you can put in some of the top probabilities and also the randomness of the response and then max new tokens. Let me ask it one more question. Uh, I'm expert in animations. Me step by step. Plan to renovate an old bathroom. To renovate an old bathroom. Okay, cool. Let me run it. This time it was fairly quick, and you can see that it has provided quite a good answer, I would say, uh, with all the steps. Um, you know, initially it has given me a summary. And then it is giving us some of the steps, prepare the bathroom, remove the old picture, paint, and all that stuff. But then it just also goes in the loop again and again. You can see that. Pretty good. I think with fine tuning and stuff, this could be a real good one. And you can also appreciate the fact that this is the GPTQ version I'm using. It's not the, which is a quantized version. Anyway, I'm quite impressed by this. Um, in the future videos, I'm also going to do an instruct one and see how that one goes. If you are already using it, please let me know. And while installation, if you get stuck or facing any issues, please share it in the comment and I'll be happy to help out. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.